When you need advice, come to Ben and Kelly. It's group therapy on 99.7 DJX. So, uh, full transparency, this one we found on Reddit, thought it was pretty relatable. It says, I'm a 25-year-old. I am at the age where a lot of my friends are getting married. Been with my 24-year-old girlfriend for three years. We've been living together for two years. So far, we've been to two of my friends' weddings from college. This year, going to be in groomsmen in two more weddings. One of my girlfriend's best college friends is also getting married this year. Now, we found out that her friend's wedding is on the same day as one of my friend's bachelor parties. Okay. So I told my girlfriend I couldn't attend her friend's wedding with her. Mm. She flipped out. Look, I've never even met her friend. I'm a groomsman in the wedding for the guy who's having the bachelor party. My girlfriend said she'd already RSVP'd for me to her friend's wedding, and they're counting on me being there. But I told my girlfriend that certain promises should be negotiable. Mm. My friend said that she went to two of my weddings already and would be attending two more with me this year and that I owed her. Okay. Do I? Am I a jerk if I go to the bachelor party over her friend's wedding? Uh, oh. I say in this case, no, he's a groomsman. Yeah, I think the groomsman, yeah. I, I that think role means yes. that he needs to be there I for think... his buddy. If he was just going to the, the wedding and didn't have a role to play, then maybe he could skip it, but he's a groomsman. Yeah, if he was just going to be a part of the bachelor party as a buddy or a, a friend or something like that, but he wasn't a groomsman or wasn't a part of the party, there there might be a little bit more to just say, okay, you know what? Yeah, you can skip that and and go with your girlfriend to her friend's wedding. But in this case, I, uh, I mean, I'm on team this guy. Are are we? Can he do both? Uh, I know I I don't know if it's a destination sort of bachelor party or a destination wedding, but you know, I there is the potential. I feel like. He, he might be able to do both. I mean, if it's in the same city, the wedding is earlier, then he could go to the ceremony, maybe skip out on the reception and go to the, the bachelor party. If that worked out, oh, he could you know what? Do I was both. Yeah, I, I was thinking that maybe the bachelor party was the night before and it, it was like Friday night. They were getting married on a Saturday. And so he could just recover from the bachelor party it looks like they're at the same time though yeah throw on a tie it, and then he go said to this. same day so i don't know what oh, how the yeah, timing right. is working out so if it if it does work out i'd suggest all right yeah try to do both uh zach texas says dump her and get a new girl at the party yeah okay man <laughs> <laughs> okay uh, that's not helping Susie says promises made to your own friend trumps your girlfriend's friend's wedding yeah i think i think that's right i think you well, not only promises, but yeah, the fact that you're a groomsman makes it more uh, that there's more buy-in and there's more uh, at stake with this. Yeah, absolutely. So you know, I I think this is in this situation. Mm-hmm. I don't normally say, "Yeah, go to the bachelor party instead of your commitment," but he's a groomsman, and that right there, I think is where we hang it all on. The mm-hmm. fact that he got a role in that wedding, so he needs to be a part of all those festivities. Shouldn't miss out. Okay. All right. I think that is... Uh, I I, I, I want to know what the consensus was. I, I wonder what the consensus was, but I, I got to think that uh, that people were mostly on his side um, for... I, I would think. Yeah, I would think that too. Yeah, uh, she's she's just got to, you know, realize that, okay, so it, when it comes to his relationship and what decision he needs to make, you know, he is closer with the person on the bachelor party. He doesn't even know the people in the ma- other wedding. How many times has a bachelor party gotten a guy into trouble? And, oh, many. And, and for this, it's not many. even the result of what happened at the bachelor party. Exactly. It's just the fact It's just the mere fact he wants to go, yeah. <laughs> oh, my mm-hmm. gosh. Uh, I don't know if anybody has a good story about a bachelor party or uh, uh, doing anything, uh, you know, and it affecting, you know, upcoming wedding or whatever. Uh, We'd love or a bachelorette party, either one. 
Uh, give us a call, 502-795-1997, or you can always text it in. His girlfriend's friend to go to a bachelor party of another friend. Now he's in the wedding. He is the groomsman. Girlfriend went to a couple of his friend's weddings already and will be attending a couple more with them. And she's like, hey, you owe me this. Now, I think, and I think most of us are on the, uh, he's cool. If, if he's in that wedding, if he's the groomsman, you know, he's cool. Um, and Jessica texts in and says, if it's for a bachelor party for a wedding that he's actually in, then he should definitely go to that. Yes, absolutely. And so many people are, that's what they're saying. And if you can do both, great, because they typically are at different times. The mm-hmm. wedding, go to the wedding first, and then yeah, that, you go to the bachelor party because that's usually late. I was going to say that is that was kind of what I was thinking uh, originally, unless it's some sort of destination bachelor party. Now, I, I've been to a bachelor party that was in a different city only because my uh, my friend had moved up to Chicago, and so – he had his bachelor party up in Chicago and so uh, went up there and uh, celebrated with him. And I got to be honest, most of the bachelor parties that I've been to of my good friends haven't gotten out of control. It's only the bachelor parties that I went to as like a third wheel. Like I didn't even know the dude getting married, you know, but I yeah. but I just went because one of my friends was like, oh, I know like a buddy of a buddy who's going to this party. At let's this, go. Yeah, let's go. Right. And like, I was, but like, you didn't skip out an obligation for that. Right. No. And, and you know, it's like though, those kind of got a little wild. Yeah, for sure. We did. Uh, tra- did you get Tracy's message? Go Tracy ahead. said uh, she wouldn't appreciate it. If one of her bridesmaids skipped out on her bachelor party to attend someone else's wedding, I'm sure. So think about it like that. And then she said, I was at my twin sister's bachelorette party. Had a few too many. We were stopping at McDonald's. I fell out of the limo and fractured my foot. Luckily, her wedding wasn't until two weeks later, but I had one had to wear one of the big boots oh, no. all the way up until the wedding day. Plus, I had to wear flats instead of super cute heels. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I got a message, uh, not me, but my mom and her friend's bachelor party. Her friend got stupidly drunk, tried to walk up a flight of stairs in platform shoes. It was oh, in gosh. the eighties. My mom, <laughs> <laughs> uh, my mom ended up watching this poor woman's ankle snap like a twig with the loudest oh. cracking noise she had ever heard in her life. Oh gosh. Wedding oh, wow. was the next day. Oh no, no, oh, no, no, That's no. another thing where you got to like walk down the aisle on crutches. I know oh, this is this is segueing into bachelor and bachelorette party disasters. <laughs> Didn't oh foresee this coming. Gosh. Uh, oh man. Yeah. So, anyways, if you've got a fun story, you can always uh, call it in or text it five zero two seven nine five one ninety nine seven. But yeah, there you go on ninety nine seven DJX.